Hola, buenos días, es Nico. So today, you know, I, I just wanted to come here and have fun. You know, last video we came and we talked about relationship-ish and I kind of want to move past that. I kind of want to go back and explore the wondrous days of yesteryear. But before that, if you like this kind of content, make sure to follow me on patreon.com slash aesthetics to help me keep my light bill, you know, paid. <laughs> so that I can keep these lights on and continue to, what is with my speech today? And continue to make the videos that you come to enjoy every week. But essentially, I wanted to talk about, you know, the baddies <laughs> my favorite the vintage you know the vintage porn girlies the the actual porn stars not only fans girlies this time why do you say that nico i tell you this every time every time i discuss like only fans content i don't consider these people porn stars a lot of them don't consider themselves porn stars or i don't know how to how they don't consider themselves sex workers if you're selling video sex but that's you know that's some people just have different <laughs> descriptions of how they want to identify because they want to either seem better than people that identify as sex workers so they want to seem like they're different when in reality selling your nudes selling your sex tapes that's sex work but i don't consider them porn stars just because they don't have the work ethic what do you mean, Nico? Well, essentially, a lot of the OnlyFans girlies don't have the artistry skills. They don't have the performance skills. A lot of them are just like staring into the camera while awkwardly stroking a bottom. And it's very uncomfortable. It's very unsettling. I'm looking at you, Lust Rashad. He looks dead into the camera. And it's just very... Like, I don't... I, that, that's not chemistry to me. I'm talking about the big name girlies, you know? And Nico, who do you mean? Tiger Tyson. Castro Supreme Gummy Worm. I call him Gummy Worm just because he can't stay hard to save his life. He's a sexy man. I prefer him as a bottom. He's a sexy man, but he can't stay hard to save his life. Um, who else? Um, Moyea. You know, the little, <laughs> he be, he be, he, he be taking it. But that's Moyea and Dream. That was a, that was a, that was a video. Dream, you know, um, I think his name was Daddy Cream. Um, Papi Sango, you know, that's, it's just these, <laughs> these men shaped, you know, the trade fish that I am today. What do you mean trade fish? I, I, I'd be trade fishing. I look very trade aesthetically, but I am not trade. I'm more like Butch Queen. It's, it's, it, the point is they shaped who I am today. You know, I, <laughs> they influenced my life and I just don't feel like we talk about them enough. And I feel like the more time passed, the less prevalent actual porn stars have become um as in the xls the i think his name is chino black or chico black i forget the, the middle letter um uh, who else max Co i don't i mean he's a porn star but i don't sympathize with raccoons if you know what i mean um but they just aren't <laughs> they just aren't making stars anymore the only one that i could say that is probably going to be legendary in the next few years is maybe Raheem Shabazz, but other than him, there's not any big names that I can name that are around today that are going to have, you know, quote unquote, a cult fan following like a Tiger Tyson or a Moyea or a, a Dream, you know, that kind of thing. These men were fine. These men, that's another thing. Back in the day, porn stars, especially, you know, the black and Brown, the Afro-Latino scene, they, they, they were stacked. Every one of them was stacked. They had face, they had body, they had, you know, athletic bubble butts, they had big dicks. It was just, it was time to be alive. Nico, are you getting hot and bothered on camera? Yes, bitch, I am. Because this was, this was my youth. I mean, I, actually that was beyond my youth. Like that was the, that was the era of porn before my actual youth, cause I'm only 25. But it's what I grew up watching, like when, I grew up and discovered sexuality. The only active porn sites that were like big names were like men.com and y'all know how I feel about that. I don't, it goes against my morals. But um, Dog Pound USA, um, Boppy Thugs because my aesthetic, uh, <laughs> Tiger Tyson, uh, the Take Em Down series, you know, Daddy Cream series. It's just, this is, it was a, it was a time to be alive. 
what was it, Black Thunder? I think that's what it called. Was that what that old site was? I'm just slowly remembering all the, um, all the sites from my youth, all the actors, and it's just, ah, oh, I miss it. I miss it. And I really wish that porn was still in artistry. And I mean, it doesn't have to have like the cheesy 70s music and the vintage lens, because when I actually look back at those scenes as an adult, I start to notice, though it wasn't like, fine art as in it was very different from OnlyFans because if you really take in the surroundings like I did sometimes they're on set but 95% of the time these videos are shot in like a hotel room or somebody's living room and it just has good camera work and they have the music and or they just have the chemistry they have the passion I feel like a lot of points a lot of porn actors a lot of OnlyFans actors these days don't have the passion that is needed for this kind of entertainment there's no there's no chemistry there's stale face staring at the camera you're not focusing on the moment and when I do find artists that do focus on the moment they are actually good like Chaos Leon he tends to lose himself in his scenes and just enjoy it Elijah Wild he's very good um with chemistry you could tell that he's enjoying himself he'd be talking back uh who else let me think let me think because <laughs> I you know I still have to do a lot of only fan interviews and now that I'm thinking about it, I might review one of those two or maybe some other ones that are current these days. But a lot of them don't have that kind of passion. Like some do, like they're truly enjoying themselves, but a lot of them are just doing it for a quick buck to make some money. And you can tell that when you watch it on camera. So give me your opinion. What do you think happened to the golden age of porn? What do you think changed in the industry that you no longer see the passion in these scenes. You no longer see these standout stars that stand about the rest. Because when we look back, we had porn icons, especially in the LGBT community, because you know, for some reason we make these people our, our main focal point. These are our celebrities, the porn actors. We used to have those pivotal actors in the scene back then, but now it's all just flavor of the week, new person of the week, new booty of the week, new, because the, you know, the, the YouTube like porn algorithm that's coming out of the OnlyFans era. So definitely give me your opinion on what do you think happened to the golden age of porn? What do you think happened to the name out stars and why we no longer see any surfacing these days, especially since we have such an overabundance of porn being produced? But yeah, definitely a more fun and lighthearted conversation to have. Boop. And once again, a quick thank you to all my patrons on Patreon and a quick shout out to my third eye tier patrons. Your support means everything to me and helps me do this a lot more smoothly. I will also be listing this week's live stream topic in case anybody wants to join in on the fun. I will see you guys there.